Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today we are going to do a should you pull for 7FR. So on this banner it is going to be 7FR um, and then we are going to have um, the Emperor and we're going to have Selfie on this banner. Okay, and now um, there will also be the previous BT character which is uh, driving me crazy right now. Garnet will be on one of the banners as well. Sorry, a little brain freeze there. Uh, so Garnet BT will be on one of the banners. So if you still need Garnet BT, that could be a consideration as to if you would pull or not. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about these three characters primarily and let you guys know if you should pull or not, right? Um, I'm going to start with Emperor because honestly, I think Emperor is probably going to be the weakest of the three. Um, Emperor is a, he's already got a BT um, and he is a trap based character. He doesn't get FR or FR boards or any of that here. So you're pretty much just looking at like a BT Emperor. Uh, character and at this point um, if you're gonna pull and invest on a full BT character you probably want them to be FR echo at this point unless they're like really busted um, Emperor's traps are cool, but it, he's gonna be just too outclassed by other gimmicks other mechanics right now um, Because I would rather just run like a straight-up off turn like a core or a cane or something if that's what I'm going for um, and for like your main BT character damage dealer I would rather put like a Tifa in that slot or Pinello in that slot um, something like that. So I just feel like Emperor just, he kind of doesn't have a place right now. So he's a character I definitely wouldn't go out of my way to get. Um, that being said, if you do decide to pull for the other characters I'm going to talk about, you definitely want to pull on the Garnet side and try to get that Garnet BT, right? Um, so next let's talk about Selfie. Uh, Selfie Loki is probably the best unit on these banners. Um, and so I said this before in another video, it's very rare that I would like say like a side banner character is worth pulling for, but Selfie would be one of those exceptions. Um, if you're someone that you'd pretty much have to be like a super new player not to like understand how good Selfie is. Like most players understand Selfie's importance in the game. Um, Selfie is so busted because she has the Rapture debuff, which basically it's like a six or an eight turn debuff. Like it lasts a while. I think I think it's six turns. But basically, if the enemies have that debuff on, you just launch them every single time, which is insane for putting up like crazy damage during a force time, right? Um, so Selfie as an LD only character is probably one of the best budget characters you could ever pull. Um, she heals, uh, she has defensive capabilities with her wall, uh, wall buff, so she has very good auras, very good buffs for the party. She can heal, she provides all the launching you'll ever need. She's a great character to have, right? Now here's the thing with Selfie. The one reason maybe you wouldn't pull for her is that she's probably one of the best friend units in the game, and a lot of people run her as the friend unit. And for what you need her to do, you don't have to have her in the party. So if you're comfortable just riding friend unit selfies, you don't really have to have her. But she is really nice to have because, one, um, there's some events or some missions where you can't use a friend unit. It's nice to have access to selfie. And selfie is actually legitimately good in the party. Like, she's not a bad party slot in. Um, and she fits like pretty much with anybody you'd ever want to run her with. So I would say if you're just looking for a good character to invest in that's low invest, Selfie is definitely one to go for, right? So very, very good character there. Um, then we have Seven. So Seven is the new FR Echo character. Now, I kind of like Seven. I think she's a pretty cool character. Um, I would say people are usually pretty down on her. She's never been like super hyped. I would say right now, so if you're unfamiliar with her, she's pretty much a damage dealer. Um, and she has a very important debuff called Snakebite. Now the thing with Snakebite is you can only ever have it on one enemy at a time, which is a little bit of a hindrance because they ba it basically makes her very single target focused. And her FR revolves a lot around the uh, Snakebite debuff because you get HP bonus based on attacking the enemy with it. So it makes things a little bit wonky when switching enemies um, because you got to put Snakebite on the enemy you want to attack, right? Which can really mess up like your force combo and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of similar how Kadaj has something very similar where like he only wants to have a buff on one enemy and then he gets follow-ups based on that, right? So that part I think of 7 is a little bit wonky. Um, but 7 will always hit weakness damage on the Snakebite enemy, which is kind of cool. Um, and she doesn't really carry an element on any of her attacks except for one, which is called Elemental Lash. And that one has three different elements on the same attack, which can be a bad thing because that attack is more easy to get locked out if enemies absorb any one of the three elements that is on it. Um, but otherwise, I mean, it's only one attack in her kit, right? And she doesn't enchant um, and she doesn't imperil either. So 
all of her weakness damage is actually coming from the snake bite. So it's just kind of a weird thing. But if you attack with like the elemental lash, you get the attack actually triggers twice. Um, so I'm kind of curious to see like what her damage is actually looking like. But I can't really like say that I would highly recommend her at this point, right? Now, I would say the one kind of good thing about Seven right now, I guess what she's got going for her is that she's very early in FR Echo. So we don't have a lot of FR Echo characters. So just being that she is an Echo, I think adds a little bit of value. Um, and the fact that she does have a Bondage Whip debuff. Um, which is a basically after any ally action, it is a follow up, and we do know that follow, follow ups do have a lot of value um, and force time for adding damage. So if you're lacking a follow up character and you want another FR Echo at your disposal, um, you definitely could go for her. Now, for me, just because I'm high on resources, I'm pretty much capped on tickets right now. I probably will throw a few hundred tickets um, just to use up tickets, and I kind of like seven, so I think it'll be a fun FR to have. And for me. You know, I'm the kind of person that, like, the beginning of a new era, I kind of just go pull crazy just so I have access to a lot of characters. So, like, when FR first dropped, I think I dropped for, I, I drew for, like, the first seven FRs or something like that. I don't think it was till we were, like, eight FR characters in that I stopped pulling for every single one. FR Echo might be similar. I might just get every Echo this month just so I have a lot of Echo options. Um, but that setup I showed with uh, Terra, Garnet, and Pinello, I mean, that worked pretty good, right? But um, I think seven might just be a fun character to have. But overall... I, I wouldn't recommend really pulling on these banners unless you don't have selfie. If you don't have selfie, like picking up like the uh, seven just as a new FR, like it's kind of reverse mentality, right? Because the mentality normally is, hey, you want the new good FR character, but then if you get the side character, it's a bonus. This one's kind of different where it's like, hey, maybe pull for selfie. And if you get a seven FR, it's a bonus. That's really the way I would think about it. So when it really comes down to pulling on this banner, I would ask yourself, do I have Selfie? And if not, do I want her for in the party or am I okay using her as just a friend? But if you want to have her to have access, I, I actually think she's a good idea to have access to. I would recommend it. So I'd say if you don't have Selfie, I would recommend pulling on this and I'd recommend pulling on the Garnet side because that's a good BT to have and Garnet is a character I recommend you pulled last time. So uh, that would be a nice setup. Now, if you already have Garnet BT, then definitely pull on the Emperor side because even if Emperor isn't the craziest, it's always good to have a chance to get a new BT you don't have, right? So anyways, let me know if you guys are going to pull or not. Um, I will put up a pull video on this because like I said, I think I'm going to go for FR for funsies, but she is not a must have by any means. So, uh, and I will do an updated character guide on her as well. So look forward to that. So anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.